Well, this is always a bittersweet day. Uh, we have senior day and we have uh, an opponent like Maryland that's coming in and your focus you know, certainly wants to be on the task at hand, but um, you know, you also reflect on, uh, you know, your seniors and, and what they've meant. Uh, you, you, kind of, you try to keep the main thing the main thing, and um, I thought we did that. I um, thought we got off to a great start, uh, particularly in the first half. And um, I thought in the, the second half, what I, I liked about our play, I thought Chloe, uh, after Mac went out, and then um, uh, didn't seem like we could generate. M Maryland's a hard team because they switch everything. They they go back and forth with the zone. They're big. Um, you know, we, we couldn't get any rhythm offensively, but uh, I loved how Chloe just sort of took over in the moment um, and uh, tried to get to the rim and try to get to the free throw line. And um, I thought um, she was a big reason why we were able to, to keep the lead, maintain the lead. Um, and then we just, you know, had to go to our bench and uh, move some pieces around and uh, try to get to the finish line. So, you know, on a day where it's special for our seniors, uh, kind of a, you know, um, you know, different in terms of uh, how it ended um, with some injuries and whatnot, uh, I was really proud of the way uh, we finished. Just real, do you have an update on either Lily or Mackenzie? Uh, yeah, not not right now. I think they're both, um, you know, as far as I've been told, you know, I just uh, came from the locker room, got to speak with um, our, our medical team. You know, both are, are going to be evaluated right now, um, day to day, as far as, um, you know, uh, where they at. Hopefully tomorrow they'll both wake up feeling uh, better. Um, but, um, you know, as of right now, Mike, it's, it's just going to be day to day. I mean, there's no evaluation, uh, or the evaluation is going to be, you know, uh, on going right now um, there's some festivities right now you know with seniors and Mac especially um, and so I think they're allowing her some time with her family to do that before uh, we know anymore and, and, and obviously you know her all-american but in terms of her injury history does that do you go right there when something like that happens and she's limping I mean sure that's your immediate sort of thought in, yeah in the moment? Uh, you know it's um, you know, she's she certainly has not had um, or has had some bad bad luck, especially um, you know um, in in late February. Um, but um, you know, we're going to be hopeful and optimistic that um, you know it's um, it'll it'll turn out the way that uh, we want it to. Uh, Max, a very very resilient, tough kid, as we know, um, and we have great medical people, uh, medical staff that. Um, We'll, we'll do everything they can for both she and Lily to make sure that um, if, they, if they're available um, for the Big Ten tournament, they'll be available. Uh, you praised Chloe's play a little bit today. Mm -hmm. Obviously, yesterday she announced that she'll be coming back for sure. her fifth year. How happy are you to have her back? For oh her well, year? Uh, again, um, you know the, the thing I love about Chloe is Chloe wanted to, um, uh, you know, get that out because she knew today was going to be about our seniors and um, you know how she did it is in Chloe fashion. You know, no graphic, just uh, a few words uh, in uh, on a on a tweet. So. Um, no, I think uh, we would all agree that uh, she's she's been so instrumental the last couple seasons for us. Um, the way she's grown into becoming one of the best um, Big Ten guards uh, has re been really special. It's been because of her work, and um, I think we're all super excited that uh, we we I know I am that we get a coach here another season. Coach, Maryland had 13 turnovers today, and you guys held Cheyenne Sellers to 3 of 13 shooting. Mm -hmm. What did you guys do in practice to prep for a physical combo guard like her, and how do you, yeah. you know, keep that moving uh, for the other guards in the Big Ten and beyond? Well, che Cheyenne's not the only one that's physical. I mean, that's a physical team. Uh, we knew that when we went to Maryland, um, you know, months ago or whenever that was in January and, and played them there. Um, it was a very physical game. And, um, you know, we didn't do anything extraordinary. You know, we tried to do our best to, uh, you know, keep, keep them in front of us, uh, try to have activity around the ball. Um, and, um, you know, I thought, uh, again, we knew that our will had, was going to have to be greater today than them, than theirs, um, just because they, they're not finesse. They are all about trying to out-physical you. And, um, you know, again, really proud of our kids uh, for the way they battled. Um, and fought because that's what it what it was there at times. Terry, um, <clears throat> we don't know the injury status, of course, of mm -hmm. Mackenzie or Lily yet, but we have we've all been around for the bad luck that's happened to Mackenzie in particular mm -hmm. over the last couple of years. 
knowing that we don't know yet, but in that moment to kind of have that experience of that most people did in the arena of, you know, here, here we go again. Right. I, I know your job at that point is to get things going, but sure. what's kind of going through your mind in terms of trying to process that? Well, um, you know, again, it's, it's just trying to, um, you know, we had to get her out and then, uh, you know, she, she goes and spends some time and then Ben came out and said that, you know, we were going to have her for the rest of the game. And so, you know, you, you try like crazy Todd, not to let your mind go to anywhere that it shouldn't. in that moment, your job as the coach is to make sure that, you know, you focus on the kids that are out on the floor. And, um, and so that's what I tried to do. Um, and again, I don't, I don't know right now from, you know, emotionally, we, I just don't know. Um, and so, um, you know, I'm going to be optimistic until they tell me differently. Um, but, um, you know, I, I, um, I went into coach gear and, and again, we were just trying to get the pieces out there. Then when Lily went down, we knew that we had to play small. Uh, we, we moved yard into the five, which, you know, the luxury of having her is, is, has been important because we can move her around. But, um, you know, I think we, we all went into just, um, coaching mode over there and, and, um, really just focused on those kids that were on the floor. Mary, um, this is sort of the next step of that you early in the year, this team can win a national championship. Mm -hmm. We are there. Mm -hmm. You're in that mode. And you have to get ready for the Big Ten tournament in the mm -hmm. next couple of days. But how does that put different kind of pressure on you in terms of coaching preparation when you don't know who you're going to have? Well, I think we'll, we'll have a better idea, uh, Lou, as we go into the week. Um, you know what? Um, who's going to be who's going to be available? You know for the Big Ten tournament. The great thing is we have some time here. You know it's not till we got the double bye, so we're not playing until Friday, um, and so we we do have some some good time here. But um, you know the bigger picture also is the NCAA tournament. So we have a lot to think about. Um, you know certainly the Big Ten tournament, but um, beyond that as well. Terry, over here. Mm -hmm. um, one, you know, maybe a little bit more into the, uh, the March Madness Now opportunity. In particular, I'm sure you're gearing to play three consecutive days. Um, how do you get everybody ready for that? And I'm sure rest is involved, but how do you prepare for that? Well, I think we've we've uh, tried to be, you know, we've tried to do that as we've gone down the stretch here, trying to manage. Um, you know, um, you know, playing every two days. It seems like we've had a lot of those. We we think I feel like we've only had one buy, and the buy meaning we've had like a five day or you know four day like an extended period of time off. You know, other than that, I feel like we've always we've been prepping. Um, you know, every two days and. Um, and, uh, you know, we have an experienced group, so I think from a coaching perspective, you feel very confident that, um, you know, your practices aren't as long. Um, you know, we're going about anywhere from a, a solid minute to 75 minutes. Uh, that's what we've been doing as of late. Um, you, should, you certainly you think about their, you know, wanting to go in with fresh bodies, fresh minds, fresh legs. Um, and so, um, you know, we've really tapered back a lot going down the stretch here in terms of their time managing it. Um, and so forth, and so I don't. We we won't do anything differently. Um, I thought I think our what we've done has worked for us. Terry Ariel had that big block yeah. at the end, and that kind of meant that all of your seniors were able sure. to do something yeah. big and special in this yeah. game. How how special was that for you as a coach? To well, have she's been so special, and so you know if it, you know if she, she is the greatest teammate. Um, and I can't overstate it um, enough. And and um, you know, with and, and let's go back even the the block. How about the national anthem that she crushed? Um, and that was a nice surprise. I don't think our players, her teammates, didn't know that she was going to do that. Um, and um, you know, she was she's such a beautiful person. Uh, inside and out, and uh, you know, to, to be f to put her on the floor and have her do something uh, positive like that, you know, was was great. You could you could sense and, and tell the excitement from her teammates um, just by how they reacted. You know how much she means to to them. So very cool, Coach. Congratulations. That Thank was you. my same exact question. Yeah. So uh, very cool. I'll pass. Yeah, along. no, it's great.
Terry, even though that you know Lily and, and, and Mackenzie are both day to day, and there's not much known about it, do you, do you know what the trainers are sort of looking for? It seemed like with Lily, it was a, it was an ankle. Yeah, no, Max is is her knee. Yeah, it's her knee, and 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 Lily's an ankle. Yeah, Terry. In terms of the Big Ten tournament having the double buy, how much goes into the you know once you find out the seedings later tonight after the games are played? For your coaching staff, what do the next few days look like in terms of like scouting? Yeah, it's preparing for two teams. Yeah. You know, this league has been really good, and um, anything can happen in tournament play. You know, if they're um, if if they do what we do, it's uh, it's a whole new season, it's a whole new opportunity, and um, you know, for for every team. And so, you just uh, you know you you find out tonight uh, the possibility of who you may play, and we will prep for for two teams. Yep, thank you guys. Oh, sorry. Just quickly, with, with Mac, you obviously you're on the borderline of hosting. If she can, obviously you don't want to rush her, but is there any concern the committee, if they don't see her in the Big Ten tournament, could dock you a seed line? Because that's happened before. Obviously you yeah. want to play her if she can, but you would. Ha you, how do you handle that, knowing that the committee's going to be looking at her injury? Well, I'm not on the committee. If I was, you know, um, you know, I, I, I might feel differently. But, um, Ari, those things are out of your control. The only thing you can do is control the, 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 the things that we can control. And and uh, if, they, if they have us here, great for Hoosier Nation. If they tell us we need to go on the road, we'll do that.